which one is is better. So, um, yeah, yeah, maybe meaning of, of this O, you can, you can imagine it as, as roughly that we don't care about really small details, but roughly it's, it's going like this. Of course, meaning like precise definition of, of this big O notation is using limit. So, yeah, I, I will maybe maybe get get to it, but, but this is this is um, like the the intuitive meaning of of these symbols so so the question is which one of the, of these programs is it better so what what you can do is to maybe implement both of them and then and test them on on some some data and and uh, measure time on on your computer how fast is it and you will obtain some result and like uh, you can do it uh, a lot of time but still maybe maybe it just your your data input is not large enough so so these programs will behave differently when when the inputs are large so like for example what what can happen that, that this this uh, second program will be much faster when the data input is really really small but after some time it will it will get worse and worse yeah, so so it's it's quite difficult to to test these test these things just uh, just by implementation. And I actually in in like practical problem you will you will implement them anyway and and try different things to make to make it uh, as fast as as fast as possible. But but mm, let's just let's just work not not so precisely here. So so what we can do is to compare these two functions. These two, these two sequences. One of them is is n log to five of n, and the other one is n squared. And I can compare. I can take this fraction, and this will define me some sequence c n, and I can look at limit of of c n, meaning limit of of this of this this thing. Yeah, so limit of uh, n log five of n n square and I will obtain obtain something which will tell me which one of these programs is better. Uh, so there are several possible answers to, to this to this uh, fraction if, if it exists. If it doesn't exist it can be some kind of very weird weird situation but but for example in the case of algorithms it, it will almost surely exist. So so what what can happen? This this result uh, since we are working with with algorithms, so so for simplicity, uh, the sequences are only only made by by positive numbers. So what we know that this result is is non-negative, and now the result can be basically zero, or some kind of of constant k larger than zero or infinity, plus infinity, and so. Let me let me give give meaning to to these to these things. So, what does it mean? What does it mean? Zero. So, it means that after after some time, the the uh, what does it what does it mean exactly? So so this this um, fraction is is going to be smaller and, and smaller. So, what does it mean that that uh, the denominator of this this fraction is is much larger than the denominator denominator of this fraction. So meaning that b n is much larger than a n. So if we compare them, then we know that b n is bigger, or the program b n is is much much slower. Yeah. If the k is is some kind of constant. Then we know that it, it's approaching to approaching to to value k. So some of these programs are of, of similar speed, or these these quantities are of similar s size. So so what does it m mean that if this is equal k, then a n is k times larger than b n. Uh, so approximately, so there won't be big, big difference between. It. And if it goes to infinity, we will obtain the opposite result that b n is much, much smaller than than a n. Uh, so this a n will blow up and will make the infinity into in the sequence. Uh, so something, something like this. Okay, so so for example, let, let me let me do, do 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 this thing here. So so we have. Uh, 
linear thing times logarithm and and here is, is quadratic quadratic term so what you maybe know that that logarithm is is uh, power to to anything is is uh, anything constant is is much smaller than n so so this thing will go much faster to infinity the denominator go, will go much faster to the infinity and the limit of this thing is nothing else than zero yeah, so so what we obtain from this is that program the, the second program is much slower it takes much bigger time when the number n is going to infinity when the number of uh, number n is huge then it takes much longer time and you can you can test to to implement a program like this and you will sure agree with me that that when when the input is is let's say let's say when n is one million which is not so big then this this program will be will be much much slower okay so so this is this is why we are interested about about limits this is some kind of, of mathematical language how to how to compare things how to say that some quantity is small and the other quantity is big and I think this is this is the key point which which one should remember when when he's calculating some things in the calculus. He should he should not not learn how to how to do the specific uh, specific exercises, how to do the specific tasks there. They are not important. You don't really need them. What you what you need is to understand this and to get some basic basic feeling which things are bigger and which which things are smaller. Now, for example, I I could say immediately that the second second program was slower. I didn't even need it to calculate the limit because because I know what what result will I obtain. Now, so so what 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 you learn in calculus basically are, are results for uh, for which are just like some kind of like like basic basic families of of functions and how compare them and uh, also uh, some kind of exercises in which in which case you have to be quite careful to obtain the correct result so, so I, will, I will give you some, some ideas but mm, so let me start with the most simple simple function function in, in in the word, uh, of, of course, this will be probably a constant function. But, but, like, what we have, we have numbers x, and we can, we can add them, subtract them, multiply them. So, so the most simple function is is polynomial. So, so some, some a n two to x n plus a n minus one two to x minus one, and and so on. Like, if you if you just consider these two these two operations addition and multiplication then naturally you have to consider polynomials and so so imagine that you have two, two functions polynomials are, are quite uh, often denoted by by letters like like pp sorry px and and qx and so, so imagine that you would like to compare two polynomials, how how they work. So, so we have limit of, of some some polynomials. Let's say, hmm, let's say uh, n square plus two n over over something like like n to four plus five. And I would like to I would like to know answer answer for this. So. So the thing with with polynomials is that um, like the the only important thing is the is the uh, is the term is the monome with the highest degree of of n of x. So so it's this term. We don't really care about these things. They're not important. Not important if we are calculating calculating. Uh, fraction of, of two functions of two polynomials they're important if, if there would be subtraction and this first term would, would kill each other and then they become important but but if, if we are considering just this case it's basically basically limit of n squared over n fourth 
it's uh, the the result is not not much changed but now what what we know that we can we can like uh, we can uh, reduce this 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 thing to to limit of one over n squared and this is this is not very difficult because this is constant and this is going up to infinity so this is going much faster to infinity than this is this which is never going to infinity so so this is nothing else than zero and this is this is the answer and it says that that the denominator is much bigger than denominator of of this of this of this fraction okay so so this was this was just just one result, and maybe maybe we should we should we should say uh, we should at least maybe maybe show show formally some 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 kind of, of theorem which which um, which works and which we which we can use here. So so there is there is something which is called um, arithmetic of, of limits. So, so the idea is basically if you have two two sequences which which have limit, you can also add these limits together and subtract them and multiply them, and you will always obtain something which which works. Yeah. So, so I will I will just just state it. So, so if I have sequences a n and and b n, then the limit of a n is equal big n and the limit of of b n is equal big b implies that the limit of a n plus b n is equal a plus b and similarly limit a n times b n is equal a times b and also also you can you can divide it uh, which is which is not so not so important but um, limit a n over over b n is is a over b but this requires some kind of some kind of special condition that b n is not going to, to zero because you would be otherwise dividing by zero and you could do some some crazy things yeah, so so in this in this case if both of these these things would go to zero you would have zero over zero and you, you don't really know because like uh, it depends which things goes to to zero uh, faster so so the, so it would it, it you could get any any result here so so what we need is that bn is not zero at least after some point yeah so so something something like this and uh, so let me let me explain why why it holds and maybe maybe just just one one statement and the other the other one are slightly more technical but it's it's the idea is the idea is still the same okay so so let me let me explain why uh, this this addition works here and so the the main idea is that if a a n is close to A and BN is close to B then even if we if we add these two things together they are close to A plus B yeah, so let me so what, what, what the close means that distance of A N and A is at most this this epsilon we are talking about from from the definition of the limit and similarly here b n and b is at most epsilon yeah? and the the close here will mean something else that the distance can be in this case at most two epsilons but the thing is that that there is not not so big gap between between two epsilons and one epsilon so from our point of view it's almost the same and why why this it is holds so it's it's actually actually not not very very difficult okay so so why why this holds it's quite quite straightforward so you can can imagine what does it mean that a n is, is close to a so i have numbers here and here is a here is some kind of, of neighborhood 
which the, the all these numbers are considered to be close, meaning that size of this is two epsilon, and a n is lying somewhere inside. Huh? Now 